Hello guys, welcome to Sigma Tech Tricks. On today's video, we are going to show you a CPU, a gaming CPU, which came for repair. So this is the CPU which we received it, which we are going to repair. I'll show you what is the problem. This is a Asus CPU, Asus motherboard, and it has a graphic card and heavy uh, heat sink and uh, Antec 750 watt SMPS. So let's see what is the problem and we will try to repair it. So we have plugged it, power cable, HDMI cable and keyboard. So we will on it, we will press the power button. So our CPU is on now. As you can see here, an error message which says no device, USB device over current status detected and system will shut down after 15 seconds. So this is the problem we are getting it and now you can see the CPU is off. Uh, so in that case, what are the things can be done? I will show you one by one. First is we need to unplug the power and then all the cables and after that uh, we have to check it out if there is any issue with the USB ports here are some ports here all the ports we need to check it out thoroughly whether any pin is damaged or any pin is getting contacted with the ground so in our checking we did not find any short circuit or any pin damage or anything and after this we need to check it out front USB as well we have a two USBs here we need to check it out whether any corrosion or any, any pin damage here also. We did not find any such thing here also. The next thing is we need to turn the CPU down and then we have to disconnect the cable which is connected to the front side USB. So we will disconnect it and we will restart the system. So we will connect the power cable again and we will check it out. So let's see what comes next. Okay, so the problem remains same. System will shut down in 15 minutes. It shows. We have checked it card level. There is no problem found. It seems there is a problem in the motherboard. So let's open the CPU and take out the motherboard. And we will do the chip level repair. So guys, uh, we uh, have repaired the board now uh, due to non-availability of the microscope camera I am not able to record the video we are just recording from the mobile I will show you where is the problem and what we did to the board So here are some USB port inside the board which is connected to the board So the suspension is on this area 
and in this area here we have one usb port now after uh, diagnosing and checking we found that there is one component here as you can see we have removed it this component was faulty which we have removed here as uh, as you can see this component this was the component which was causing this board to go off in 15 seconds now we have removed it and we have disconnected this entire two usb ports so let's check the board now so we are turning on the board so the board is turned on so i'm connecting the usb and you can see on the screen on the monitor now the error message is not coming and it is performing it is on the bios now it is working very well okay so now let's put it back into the cpu and we will check it out so guys as you can see we have uh, placed the motherboard inside the cabinet and now we will uh, on the cpu and we'll check it out whether the system is stable or not okay the system is on now you can see it is getting on and it is going to the windows so that means we have fixed the cpu and you can see it is on completely on and the system is stable So guys, this is how we fix the CPU motherboard. We do chip level repair in Bangalore, Kamen Halli. See, due to, I mean, uh, since we do not have a microscope camera and camera setup in the lab, we are not able to get the full video. We are not able to shoot the full video. Next time, very soon, we are going to install all the cameras and we will do proper videography for the repairing. So if you liked the video and if you found this informative and uh, you enjoyed the video, please subscribe my channel and like the video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.